Overall, our weather looks to remain quiet through the end of the week, but the cloud cover continues to hang kind of tough, so not a lot of bright sunshine on tap over the next couple of days. We are tracking our next storm system on tap to start off the weekend. Right now, it's looking like mainly rain for the Pioneer Valley, but the Hill Towns and the Berkshires may end up getting some snow with this system by Saturday afternoon and evening, and we'll talk about that in just a couple of minutes. First, some current conditions. We're 36 degrees right now, just a blanket of cloud cover, just a gray January day, fairly unbelievable pleasant. We don't have the gusty breezes, which is nice. Winds are staying on the light side today. And the cloud cover is uh, it has been just mostly western mass with eastern mass uh, out toward the coast dealing with some good sunshine, but even cloud cover is now extending out toward the coast. An upper level disturbance will be swinging through tonight, so the cloud cover is not really going anywhere. Temperatures right now hovering in the lower to middle 30s in most locations. We'll eventually end up back into the 20s, but it shouldn't be quite as cold tonight because of the lingering cloud cover. Looking at the wind, it is coming in out of the west, close to about five miles an hour, not overly blustery for anybody out there today. And we shouldn't stay too breezy uh, until our next bigger storm system comes in, and that will start to increase the wind speed over the weekend. But for the next couple of days, winds stay on the light side. Tonight will drop down to the lower and middle 20s with partly to mostly cloudy skies. And I say partly almost with a little bit of hope because I really do think the cloud cover just does not go anywhere. And then tomorrow I think we'll get some breaks of sunshine, but still more clouds than sun. Temperatures back into the middle and upper 30s for most. We could end up near 40 in Springfield, but it might be a little tough depending on if we see any sunshine at all. Temperatures though should end up back into the middle and upper 30s for everybody, including the Hilltown. So a bit of a milder day out there, even though it's still fairly gray, it is looking pleasant for January. Now high pressure is in control across the south. This is where the good sunshine is, but for us here in the northeast, we continue to have this flow coming in out of the north and west and the upper levels, and that just keeps the cloud cover streaming in. Now as we go through the end of the week, we are tracking this big storm system right now impacting the Pacific Northwest. It'll cut across the country, bringing rain to the area by Friday night. Out ahead of it, temperatures should warm up just a little bit, but the cloud cover again is just going to stick around over the next couple of days. So our future cast does doesn't show a whole lot of breaks in the clouds. You can see all the gray and white here lingering through Wednesday, Wednesday night. We're still cloudy. Even Thursday, we're still cloudy. Maybe some occasional breaks of sunshine as we head into Friday morning. We will start seeing some rain showers by Friday night with this system, uh, but we are going to see maybe a period of some heavier rain on Saturday, followed by a changeover to snow in the hill towns. Might see some minor accumulations in the Berkshires, uh, but it is temperatures are not really going to get very cold. So even if you do get a little bit of snow accumulation, it's not going to amount to much because we don't really get too cold over the weekend. So Saturday night, snow showers will end things. Sunday, we're breezy and dry. Martin Luther King Day, 38 degrees, which isn't too bad, and dry weather should continue out through Tuesday. Chris and Jordan.